Hi everyone and welcome to this uh, tutorial and it's a, a dare you tutorial. You can see here my Indian girl looking at the Palomino horse and I've made a free download for you. So you can print this out and I will explain uh, what is the meaning of all this. What you take is a graphite bar or an 8B uh, soft graphite pencil and once you've printed out this drawing you take the back and you color this in all together with that graphite uh, try to divide this evenly and uh, depending on whether you want to draw a lot of lines or just a few lines maybe you're a very um, advanced artist and then you only have to draw over a few lines so you tip the free download that you've printed out onto the paper where you want to draw this on in my case it's a, a very sturdy aqua um, watercolor paper very thick and then you place that drawing on to your paper and take a 2 h pencil or something hard and you can uh, tape the drawing if you want and then you start uh, taking over the lines that are important to you maybe uh, the face for instance which is kind of hard and uh, the contours of the horse uh, all the lines you think you're not sure about and these are the lines that I've taken over and what I'm doing here is I've taken a uh, 0.1 Stettler fine liner and now I'm going to render in all of this drawing with that uh, fine liner now of course you can choose to do this drawing all in graphite that's no problem at all but because I uh, want to also color this in in my next tutorial I will show you how that's done too I'm using that Stettler because it's waterproof and um, well, it's a very fine one and this will take me a lot of time but actually what I'm doing is is I'm drawing in all kinds of little lines and try to make them work together you can see me here working on the head and also I will be drawing in a, a kind of a halter and uh, the mains I will leave as open as possible because I want this to be a Palomino when I'm finished and when I'm going to color it in and from the horses hairs and manes hanging down are some feathers and as you can see all I'm doing is drawing in all short scribbly lines and I try to avoid uh, the most contours as much as possible you can uh, draw a straight line for the leg itself but then color in all the shadows with those short rendering lines and uh, well for one time I will shut up and just let you watch what I'm doing while I'm rendering in the whole thing uh, but I will be back as soon as we start with the background because that's a different story but for now I will just have you sit back and enjoy watching this rendering
Are coming for the surroundings and the, the background. I want to share a little bit more tips with you uh, because um, I want this drawing and uh, this girl and horse to be in a late summer night. And um, the point is uh, for drawing in a background with only a fine liner. This is uh, very hard. So I have come up with this great solution for this. What I'm doing is I draw in a little bit of grass for where about uh, the horizon would be. And then I'm uh, drawing in some um, easy and bowed, bowed lines that are crossing each other. Now maybe you think, why is this? Well, it has a, a certain, um, well it gives you a, a hold on to uh, render in your ink in between. So what I'm doing is here I go from right to left and here from left to right. The lines that I've drawn in, I can use uh, as a hold on to render in between. Now what you see me doing is I am filling in all of the sky and it gives that nice uh, feel that is uh, suited perfectly for the drawing that I'm making of that Indian girl by placing in those little render lines uh, in contradiction to each other so from left to right and from right to left the background appears to be uh, smoldering and, and in movement in that late night summer so just rendering between the lines and you get this amazing looking sky 
and this takes a lot of time, but it's a perfect practice. All of this kind of rendering is, is so nice to practice your hands and your hand-eye coordination. And it will give you, well, experience. If you want it going darker, you can cross hatch. Here in the bottom, I'm doing that. So simply cross hatch as much, much as you want and as dark as you want to go. Uh, I'm not going in all that dark because I want to also watercolor in this drawing. And I will demonstrate this in the next one. It's a follow up for this one. And here you can see me uh, rendering in, in between the main. The main I want to keep as white as possible because it's going to be a Palomino. But what I'm trying for you to do is I hope that you will try this out, print out that free uh, download and get started on your rendering because it's so much fun to do and it is so very uh, learnful and well it will help you I hope you will give this a big thumbs up and you will give it a go don't forget to subscribe and I will see you again in my next tutorial